Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Stacy, the 911 Stitcher, and this video is about cross stitch. Today's Thursday, July 2nd, and this is floss tube number 37. I can't believe, where did June go? It's like, I can't believe it's July already. It's crazy to me, it's hot. This is truly the worst time of year for me because I hate the heat. I am a cold weather girl. I spent a lot of time in Alaska and right now I wish I could just get on a plane and go back. <laughs> I was based in Anchorage for three years and God, I miss it. Although it got, there was a couple days that got kind of warm and, um, but for the most part, God, we had such beautiful weather and so I do miss the cold, but um, summertime, I just count the days. I can't wait till it ends. So I hope you guys are all doing good. I hope you're getting a lot of stitching done. Um, if I didn't mention, this video is about cross-stitching, and um, let's get started. I have a lot of stuff to tell you guys about, a few whips, one finish to show you. Let's talk about news. First of all, cross-stitch news. Um, Madame Chantilly has released a chart that is free for in honor for 4th of July here in the States. That is Saturday for us. It's usually a holiday about barbecuing. There's fireworks, which... <laughs> Our area, it's illegal to have fireworks and they light them off anyway. My dogs hate them, the cats hate them. And, but you know, I remember being a kid with my dad and mom and, you know, lighting off fireworks and it was exciting and it was fun. So we try and understand that a little bit. You know, it's just, we like to say it's just one day, but I think people like to party and light the fireworks off all weekend and all week. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Madame Chantilly, that's a free chart. Um, they are on Instagram and on Facebook. I've seen them both. And so I think that's really pretty. I wanted to show you guys that for those interested in stitching Patriotic. You notice I've got Patriotic Tree out today. I also added some Christmas decorations. This is a Mill Hill kit here. Um, I added my favorite Christmas statue that I got from Twin Peak Primitives and it's beautiful. I've got my little nutcracker out, and the reason being that I got Christmas out because it is Jolly July, and which is Christmas in July, stitching-wise. It started through the Fat Quarter Shop, I believe, and a lot of people are doing Christmas stitching in July. I decided, I think it was based on starting new projects, starting new Christmas, all ornament-related. Um, I know uh, when I was watching Priscilla and Chelsea, I believe it was last year, Priscilla had mentioned, do any ornaments. If you want to do Jolly July, they, she said could be Halloween. It could be anything. Um, it's it's kind of, most people lean towards Christmas. I've decided not to do the new start type of Jolly July because I just did Stitch Mania. I'd like to get through some of my um, works in progress, get some finishes done. Um, I did get my second Stitch Mania finish, and I'll show you in a little bit. But... I didn't want to start a whole bunch of new projects all over again. And I felt that way last year too, since I did um, a few new start. I didn't really participate last year in Mania because of my surgeries. But um, this year I decided I'm going to do something different. I was watching Debbie from Creatively Yours. She has an awesome idea to work on your whips, works in progress, and get some accomplishments, get some finishes. And I'm going to copy her. So hi, Debbie. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to copy you. <laughs> her Jolly July is going to be winter and Christmas whips. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to grab anything Christmas related, anything winter related, and work on that for the month of July. So I plan on getting December in the Netherlands, which is, a, which is the Christmas piece we got during Dutch Mania with Twin Peak Primitives. The chart is by Twin Peak Primitives. And I'll show that next video once I got some progress in. I have a Mill Hill kit that was, I believe, a Christmas one that I started for Stitch Mania. I will be working on that. And then I started thinking, okay, I really want to work on one of my samplers. And I started thinking, I can't go a month without working. I mean, my Christmas in December, or Christmas in the Netherlands, I should say, by Twin Peak Primitives, I, I, that is technically, I would call it a sampler, definitely. But I wanted more like a sampler, sampler looking. Um, I decided to go with Heaven and Nature by Teresa Kogut. So I'm gonna have some good progress on those three, hopefully. 
And I may throw in a few other things that aren't winter or Christmas related, but I am going to focus on those three pieces for sure. Debbie's also going to do autumn in August. I think that's awesome. I love it. I'm going to get all my autumn projects out, maybe throw in some Halloween because that's technically autumn. And then she's going to do sampler September and I am all over that. <laughs> So for now, Jolly July for me will be works in progress that I'm going to work on that are winter and Christmas related. So thanks for the idea, Debbie, because I think that's awesome. Let's talk about the chart that Luminous Fiber Arts released this past week. It is a fundraiser to benefit her nephew, Justin, who has cancer. His family um, really could use our help. So the proceeds of this chart go to Justin and his family. And the chart is called Gathering Berries. It's beautiful. I'll show it here. It's just a, I love it. It's small, so it's doable. And I think it's so pretty. So I did order it. It's available exclusively in her Etsy shop, Luminous Fiber Arts. And I decided to get it in paper because I love paper charts. So of course, no chart can travel alone. So I, <laughs> I got another chart through them and I don't remember, I think it was a prairie schooler. So that should be coming soon. I'll show that next video if it arrives. I, I think I got a message that it shipped already. So that is also, this chart, Gathering Berries, is also available in PDF form. And again, all the proceeds go to her family and um, for Justin's fight uh, of um, cancer. Next up, we have Lori Holt through the Fat Quarter Shop has Prim Stitch Series. I'll show a picture here. The series is new. I believe they said there was 12 of them that's gonna they're gonna release. The first one comes out July 6th. So look at the fat look uh, look up the Fat Quarter Shop Lori Holt's a what was it called again? Prim Stitch Series. Very very cute. Next up, we have Barbara Anna Halloween. 2020 Spellville Stitch Along. Now I did post this in my group, Stitching 911 on Facebook. I didn't realize this was already out. Well, the parts of it, it's a three part stitch along. Parts one and two were already released. One I believe was in May, part two was in June. And then the release of the final part three was just released. So this was, this is so cute. It is adorable, I wanna get it. Go to creativepoppypatterns.com and you will find Barbara Anna. Go onto the website, look for Spellville. I actually had to search it on the, because I couldn't find it. So I went up to search and I entered Spellville, one word, and it popped up and it said Halloween SAL Stitch Along 2020 and that chart, it popped up. And they are still available, all the parts. Another thing I wanted to bring up as far as news is you'll notice that some floss tubers, including myself, now have some commercials at the beginning of their videos. Now, I don't know how to control these videos or if we even can. So floss tubers out there, if you know if there's a way to control what content is shown, I'm not crazy about these political, I am not a political, I, I just, uh, I just don't like politics. So. I have watched some floss tubers. I have seen some Trump commercials. I've seen some Biden commercials. I am not really into all that. So if you guys happen to see a commercial of a presidential candidate, you know, trying to look for supporters, I don't know how to control that. So I am not, <laughs> It's if you see a commercial for one of them, I don't, I'm not a supporter, so don't think that I purposely picked a Trump or Biden commercial because <laughs> I don't even know how to do it. <laughs> and then the other thing I wanted to mention is that I happened to click on a floss tuber and all of a sudden I see these boobs on my TV. And I'm like, seriously, people, they didn't show the whole boob. There was like patches. It has to do with a bra and it's like a circle that you just put on the front and I don't want that on my videos. I mean, really, people have kids. They don't need to be turning on a floss tube and seeing a pair of boobs. So if that starts and I find out that, that, that those kind of videos are still going on, I'm probably going to turn it off. So uh, if I can figure out a way on how to control different, I don't mind stores, you know, like Target and 
Home Depot showing commercials and stuff, but when you get into content that's just stupid, then I'm not going to, I'll turn it off. So just know that I don't really have control over what's being shown right now. <laughs> okay, let's talk about mail. I've got some great mail. I wanted to show you a chart that a viewer sent in to me named Julie with a beautiful card. When Elizabeth passed away a few videos back, I explained what happened. Elizabeth's memorial was uh, shown online um, this past Friday night. It was beautiful and um, really a, a beautiful tribute to her. My husband's actually going out to see the grandkids and her husband, Steve, on Monday. So um, I'm just not able, I can't travel right now, so I, I'm not able to go. But I'm glad he's going to go out and spend some time with with everybody and see the kids. So um, Julie sent me this beautiful card and a chart that she, I think she said she stitched it for a relative and she sent it to me. And um, she, um, this, th this chart is so beautiful. I'm gonna see if I can say it without getting all choked up, but it, it's by Silver Creek Samplers and it's called When Life Is Done. Isn't that a beautiful chart? So she thought of me when Elizabeth passed away, and I'll read it to you. It says, I love you just as much today as when you died and flew away. I'll not be sad. Oh, God, I'm going to get all choked up. <laughs> but it's such a great chart. I'll not be sad nor shed a tear. Your memories will linger near. We'll meet again when life is done and soar away beyond the sun. So I thought this was such a beautiful chart. I will be stitching it for Elizabeth. And I'm going to try and put her initials down here on the gravestone. So I want to thank you, Julie, so much for thinking of me. This chart is beautiful. So you, you really, I showed Rick and he agreed. He thought this chart was just gorgeous. So thank you for thinking of us. Thank you for thinking of Elizabeth, and we really appreciate it. Next up, and I will show it when it's done, I promise. The next thing I wanted to mention is a stitching online store that I have just fallen in love with. It is called NeedleArtOnCharts.com. They are also on Facebook. Her name is Maria, and she has all of the current new releases she, in fact, I went, I saw on Facebook that she posted that she has Floss by Classic Color Works, all the new colors. We've got um, Mariner's Compass, Chesapeake Bay, and Lighthouse. These were all market-released colors. So when I saw her Facebook post that she had them in stock, she had a great price on them, I decided to make an order. These are the colors. Mariner's um, Compass is the uh, darker one, I believe. Yeah, it's darker. And the light one is Lighthouse. And then you've got Chesapeake Bay. It's a really pretty dark blue. So I decided to make an order for Floss. And I also decided I wanted, she also put this um, on her website, Donkey Biz Cornu counted cross stitch pattern. Isn't he cute? Anything with a donkey I'm gonna buy. He is so cute. So I decided to place an order and would you believe Maria sent me a few little goodies in my box. So I wanted to show you guys because they are available on her website. Again, the, the website is needleartoncharts.com and she's on Facebook. So keep an eye on Facebook because she posts some really great deals, new release charts, and she sent me some of these thread winders. Wait till you see this. I'm going to see if I have a little piece of paper I could put these in, in front of. Look at these thread winders. Now, I like using bobbins. I like using floss tags. I will be using these. This is the clock. These are available on her website. She has a great deal going on for people watching this video. Look at this cat. Isn't he cool? And they have little tiny slats. So you wind your floss and you could put the little string, the end of the floss, in that slat to keep it um, secure. Look at the crow. You know, you guys know I love crows and ravens. And last but not least, we have the exclusive Eiffel Tower Needle Art on Chart Thread Winder. These are all available on her shop online. 
She's also offering a deal for people watching this video. And that is, they're $4 each, but she's offering four for 12. So take advantage of that because it's such, these are so sturdy. They're made, um, the wood is sourced and the thread winders are made in the USA. And again, these are them. Aren't they beautiful? I love that cat. Very, very cool. Let me read what else she wrote. So those thread winders will be advertised in next the next issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher Magazine. So watch for those. And like I said, she offered you guys the special because of this video. So if you're interested, you'll get, they're $4 each, but you will get four for 12. The other thing I wanted to mention is that, um, like I said, she is on Facebook and the website www.needleartoncharts.com. So she also threw in a couple goodies for me, which made me so happy. She sent me a chart called Sampler Heart Little House Needleworks with the thread. I like that it's small, it's cute. That would make a cute little pillow. She also sent me a really pretty card. Thank you, Maria. Oh, I left out a needle mind or a needle um, thread winder. Let me get my, where's my board? There it is. Here's the other one. This one says stitching by the light of the moon. Isn't that cute? And he's got the moon face. So cute. Thank you so much for these. I really appreciate you doing this and letting me show the viewers the, th the thread winders. They are so, I love that you put different colors and I just love that it's got the slats on each one. So you just secure your thread on it. So she also sent me a chart. I'm so excited. She saw that I had my eye on Lady Liberty by Ronnie Rowe Designs. You guys know I love stitching in black. So that's an all black, or you could do any color, I guess, but black, I love black. So thank you so much, Maria. Ronnie Rowe Designs. This designer also has different, uh, they have ships. They have the Serengeti series. They have different types of dogs, which when I see a shepherd, German shepherd, you can, <laughs> that's going to get my attention. The New England series, there is uh, Mount Rushmore, Native American, Indi uh, Native Americans, Williamsburg series, which is all kinds of different, like the Governor's Palace. So check them out online. Again, it's Ronnie Rowe, R-O-W-E, and they have all kinds of different um, styles. Love this. Thank you so much. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate that. And I love those um, thread winders. I got a little bit of stash to show today. These uh, came in a few weeks ago and I have forgot to show you guys. Waxing Moon Designs Halloween Critter Trio. And I may or may not have gotten a second chart for you guys as a future giveaway. So stay tuned. Aren't they cute? Oh, I love Halloween so much. Waxy Moon Designs. I also received my very first piece of fabric. I recently joined Victorian Motto. They have a floss club and a fabric club of the month. I joined the fabric club of the month and I recently discontinued Picture This Plus. I wanted to switch Picture This Plus from 28 count to 32 count, but I was not able to, they said. So I discontinued and when it reopens for um, members, I'll rejoin Picture This Plus <clears throat> as 32 count, uh, fab with 32 count fabric. So in the meantime, I joined Victorian Motto and I'm new to them. I have not figured out the blog as far as commenting and, and participating in comments. For some reason, my comments don't stick, they don't stay. Um, but I really enjoy the website and Nancy, I believe is her name, is just the kindest person. She gets right back to you with questions that you have. And I know she's overloaded with emails and I've just been really happy with her responses as far as my questions. So I did join the Fabric 32 Count of the Month Club for me. I like that 32 count. Isn't this beautiful? I get a large cut, I get a um, half yard because I like doing big samplers and I can always 
cut it up and do small projects if I want. At least I have that choice, but this fabric's beautiful. So that's Victorian Motto. I'm also thinking about joining the floss club that they have because I've heard such great things about the floss. Nothing but good stuff. Um, right now, the clubs, I'm only in two. I'm in Fat Quarter Shop Color and Cotton Club where I get five pieces of, um, or five skeins of floss a month. I'm also in Color and Cotton and I get three. The color sometimes with Color and Cotton, I think I should have chose a different, um, maybe like neutral colors because some of the floss colors are you know, not really my taste, but then there have been times when I've needed a really bright color. So I love coloring cotton threads. So I'm going to stay in that club. <clears throat> so I'm debating about joining the Victorian Motto fabric or the floss club also, because I'm really impressed with the fabric. I think it's beautiful. A couple other things that I got is Jenny Beam Christmas Sampler by Shakespeare's Peddler. I am really loving the Jenny Bean series. And it's so weird how my my tastes have just changed because there was time when I was not a sampler stitcher. I had no interest in samplers at all. If someone had said, you'll be totally in love with samplers, I'd be like, no, I won't. <laughs> well, I am. I'm an addict. <laughs> so the Jenny Bean sampler, I mean, the Jenny Bean series is really cool. She's got all kinds of Jenny Beans out there. That's the Christmas one. This is one I may have showed before. It is going to be a giveaway in my sampler video, which is coming probably next week, if not sooner. Away We Ride Blackbird Designs. The video I wanna do is gonna be all about samplers. It's basically just going to be a chart parade. I am not a sampler expert, but I sure am a chart collector expert. <laughs> So I have a lot of experience in chart collecting. <laughs> so I accidentally bought two of these. So this is going to be a giveaway in the sampler video coming up soon. It will be this week. The next one is by Tralala, Mouton de Noel. Isn't that cute? Look at him writing on the sheep. That's cute. And this is the name of it. By Tralala. That's so cute. Here's another sampler I got. It's called, it's by Papillon Creations called Mary Queen of Scots. If I can find the picture, I'm going to insert it because the, the chart picture is not pretty at all. I don't think it gives you, you can see it, but I will try and insert a picture instead because as it's stitched up, it's so beautiful, but I love this Mary Queen of Scots. And here's the name of the company Papillon creations. Beautiful. Another one I got off of Etsy. It is called Cute Patterns by Maria. And again, she is on Etsy. She, I think she has a Facebook group too. Cute Patterns by Maria. You guys know I love bugs. I have I have been a bug collector since I was a kid. I rescue spiders, I rescue bugs, I set them free, and this is perfect. I love this. Now this is kind of a computer generated picture. I'm gonna try and include the stitched up picture here. Isn't that beautiful? I love the dragonfly, the ladybug. Oh, it's just so pretty. So. I got that one. That was only like $3 on her shop. If you get a chance, check out the Etsy shop. Her name is Maria Brofko. This one I can't remember if I showed. I I want to say I showed it twice and said I can't remember if I showed this. So this will be the last time you see this. Scarlet House Salem Hill Sampler. I believe I showed the one with the dog. There's one where the little girl is walking the dog. And I don't know if I've shown the cat. I know I couldn't find this one. I, I bought it. It arrived and I didn't know what I did with it. So that's really pretty on black. I'm real tempted to do it on black. I think that's beautiful. Last but not least, I did get Jane Fittis 1835 by Hands Across the Sea. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous chart. It is not kitted up yet, but it's in my collection. So it's gonna be stitched someday. 
The next thing I got in the mail, which is really exciting, is my very first club piece. I joined a club probably back in February. It is called the School Girl Sampler Society Club, Girls Club, through Country Sampler. If you go to their website, I think it's Country Sampler SG, something like that, just Google it, you will see the uh, a, a tab that says Girls Club. If you click it, there's all kinds of different clubs you, you can belong to. One of them, I believe, is a quilting club. One is Pineberry Lane. I think it's called Pineberry Lane. You can belong to them where you get a chart every so often that's fully kitted. Well, I decided to join the School Girl Sampler Society. I had been watching a floss tube, and I think it was Stitching with Reese talked about a club you could join where they send you a fully kitted, look at how nice this is, fully kitted uh, chart, fabric, floss. And what, ha what it is, it's four different designers that it comes out throughout the year. Four different designers put together a chart or pick one of their private collections that they have, make the, put the chart out, they fully kit it, and they send it to you. So this year is Teresa from Shakespeare's Peddler, Kimberly from Sampler's Not Forgotten, Vicki from Needlework Press, and Linda from Sampler's Remembered. On their website, it said samplers are dated around the 18th, 19th century, and it says from our own no, from our designers own private collections. So what it is, it's a fully kitted um, stitch that they send you throughout the year. And I got my first one. I'm so excited. And I think it's beautiful. I will show you. Oh, here it is. The chart. Shakespeare's Peddler Do <clears throat> Dolly Fowles for Lion Sampler. Isn't that beautiful? So this is my very first club piece. I'm excited to see this. So I just thought the way they kitted it up was just so beautiful. I didn't even take it out because I wanted to show you guys. Beautiful fabric too. On their website, it says that it's uh, the, the kits are made 36 count. All you have to do is call them and tell them you want like 32. That's all. Okay, next up, actually I'm really liking 40 count also. I don't think I want to change it yet to 40 count. I want to stitch a little bit more on 40, get more experience on it. So for now, I did call Country Sampler and told them to make my kits 32 count, and they did. So they're so nice. Let's show my finish. I have a finish. She is Stitch Mania finish number two. She is the Moon Witch, which was a free chart I got when I placed an order through kittenstitcher.com. She sent this chart. And let me present to you Moldy Face. That's her name. <laughs> so this is my second Stitch Mania finish. I'm really excited. I'm, I've also got two other whips going on that were Stitch Mania starts that are almost done. But there she is. I did change the um, original color of her face was a lot darker. Look at those shoes. Aren't those the coolest shoes? <laughs> Anyway, her face was originally really dark, like a darker green, and I thought it looked real moldy. I didn't like the color. So I switched her to a prettier color, and that's my finish. I happened to be online with two of my friends that are uh, Dutch floss tubers, Debbie, again, creatively yours that I mentioned before, and Yantina Stitches. They both saw her, and we all agreed that her name is Moldy Face. <laughs> so moldy face lives I got to get her all finished or all um fully finished I think I'm gonna probably send her if I don't try and make a little pillow myself I'll send her to my friend that does finishing and uh see what she can do with her let's show some progress real quick I worked a lot on not a lot on the white witch by the primitive hair this is a good one. I was filling in her dress. This is a good one that I like to do while I'm doing a Zoom meetup because I originally stitched the black and all I did while I was on the Zoom meetup was fill in her dress. That way I don't make any mistakes. I am literally just stitching the white. So I got some, I got a lot done on her. Well, 
white part I did. <clears throat> I'm starting to do her, she's holding on to like a lamp post. So she's filling in pretty nice. I love that the color on this fabric's coming out pretty true. It is Mermaid Bay by Primitive Hair Fabric. That's my progress on her. The next bit of progress I decided, if you guys happen to be in my stitching group, it's Facebook Stitching 911. I posted a picture, I'll post it here. And I said, do I stitch on Ann, Ann, or Ann? <laughs> I have all these Ann samplers. So the first one that won was Ann Grimshaw 1818 by the Scarlet Letter. I put a little bit of progress into this one. This Anne and I have not always gotten along. She has given me trouble. I've had to frog and thankfully she's back on track. She looks great. I think she's beautiful. She is on 32 count taupe by Witchelt. I added the B and the new part is this right here. So that's coming out. It's, it's pretty. I'd like to get more progress into this. The next Anne that everybody wanted to see, which I worked a little bit on, is Anne Thomas. This is a favorite. 1854 Anne Thomas by Hands These are uh, this one's Hands Across the Sea. Anne Thomas. I got a little bit of progress. She's being stitched on 32 count ale. I picture this plus. I fold these in so much so nothing gets on them. That's my progress. The part I got done that was new is right here. I'm starting in the upper left hand corner. These are Soie d'Alger silks. Beautiful, beautiful colors. So that's my progress on Ann Thomas. I did get a heaven and earth out. I got some progress on The Amazing Animal Kingdom by Amy Stewart. I am starting up here. If you remember right, I was working on the gorilla. I got the bird done. And we have a gorilla to show you. He still needs some arms and legs, but you get to see him. Isn't he beautiful? I'll show him up close. There you go. There he is, he's coming out. He's introducing himself. My friend Darren, who is Dizzy Stitcher on Floss Tube and Instagram said, <laughs> it looks like he's holding an orange glow stick. And it does, <laughs> look at his glow stick. <laughs> or a carrot. Anyway, so that's my progress on Amazing Animal Kingdom. I think the colors are so pretty. The last one I worked on is the one that I had converted the colors, some of the colors. I gave it to Jean. This was a restart because I didn't like the original colors that I started with. They were the called for. I just didn't, I just didn't like them. So I gave it to Jean. She reconfigured some colors for me and I really like it. So I'm starting in the upper left hand corner, which is what where I like to start. This is also a stitch along I'm doing with my friend Becca. She is my stitchy home on floss tube. And the stitch along is called Roving Eye Sal. And this is also this is called I Went to Church Sampler by Brenda Keys. So my progress on this, I was pretty happy with the progress I got done on him on this one. We uh Jean also changed the fabric. It is a buttercream, I believe, by Zweigart or Wichel, I can't, I can't remember. So that's my progress. I started a little leaf right here. That's what that little thing is. And I got tired and <laughs> so that's my progress so far on, I went to Church Sampler by Brenda Keys. Okay, let's talk about giveaways. If you remember last video before last, I had posted that I was going to give away two bags from Dot Dot Goose Designs. So any, the people 
that watched the video had to answer the question, tell me about your country, your city, or your town that you live in, what is it known for? So we had some really great answers. I appreciate everybody's comments. I did go back on my last video because some people commented on that video. And so you guys were included, everybody's included. And we had some really great answers. I was so happy to hear where you're from. I was happy to hear about your towns and all the interesting facts that you guys gave. I read everybody's comments and I used the random Google selector for the winners. So I'm gonna pick two win. I picked two winners for a dot dot goose designs bag. So what you're gonna do if I call your name, you're gonna send me an email, Stacer5, it's S T A C E R number five at AOL.com. Send me an email with your name because one of the winners, I don't know your name, it just has initials. So tell me your name so I can give it to Denise. That way she knows when you go in to order the bag or however she wants to arrange it. Let me give her the names first so she's ready. And then you can go in and pick any bag that you want from Dot Dot Goose Designs on Etsy. So the winner, the two winners that was picked is Paula Dawn. Congratulations, Paula. Her answer, she is from Northern or North Central British Columbia, known for its beautiful scenery. There's a mountain where she lives called Roque, I may pronounce this right, uh, wrong, Roque de Bule. It dominates the town. And she, the Can Canadians are also known for maple syrup. So congratulations, Paula Dawn. Send me an email with your name. And you know what, send me your address too so I can give it to Denise. The next winner is just two initials on your YouTube. It says M, like Mike, K. So MK, congratulations. You put Berks County, Pennsylvania, known for Pennsylvania Dutch cooking, shoe fly pies, chicken pot pies, hot bacon dressing, pickled beet eggs, apple butter, farm country, the pagoda in the city of uh, Reading or Reading, birthplace of Daniel Boone. So MK, send me an email. I'm going to let you know that you won on your comment and send me an email with your name and address so I could give it to Denise. And then I'll write you back and tell me and I'll tell you guys when to go to her site and pick a bag. Congratulations, you guys. I'm really excited that you won. Okay, I'm going to have another giveaway. This giveaway, since it is Jolly July and it is typically Christmas themed, I got Prairie Schooler 2020 Santa. I forgot to put a question down. Tell me if you're doing Jolly July. And if you are doing Jolly July, what are you making it? Like I am not doing new starts. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm going to work on my works in progress. So... Tell me if you are going to do Jolly July, what are you going to make it? Like, are you going to change it? Are you going to do new starts? Because some people are, or some people just aren't doing Jolly July at all, which is fine. You're, you can still enter to win. Just put, no, I'm not doing Jolly July. So if you're interested in giveaway number one, it is Prairie Schooler, the North Wind. This is cute. It just came out just a few months ago. And I also have a second one for a giveaway coming up soon on Facebook, Stitching 911. That is my group. So for now, one winner on this video will win this chart. And because we did, I believe we did fabric wise linen last time, or we did an even weave last time, I'm going to do an Ada giveaway this time. So 16 count crystal whirlpool. It's a piece 12 by 17. It's beautiful. Look at this. It's shimmery. So if you're interested in giveaway number two, it is 16 count crystal whirlpool. Let's see if I can put it up against some white. Nah, you can still see the color and stuff. Really, really pretty. So giveaway number one, giveaway number two, 16 count crystal Ada. Okay, the last but not least, I'm gonna show a few new releases. They were shown on the Facebook group. And after that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Not much of a life update for me. There's not much going on. I am still going to physical therapy, 
My leg's getting stronger. They're getting me ready for a really big surgery coming up. I, you know, with things starting to close again, I don't know if they're going to do it then. I hope they don't because I don't want to go through this surgery right now. I, I just can't right now. I'm finally back on my feet. I can finally walk again. I just have to be really careful, wear my brace, and then I'll have my reconstruction again whenever they say, but I'm going to try and put it off maybe towards the holidays. I'm not ready to have it done yet. So um, anyway, let's show a few new releases before I let you go. Hands Across the Sea came out with M.E. Metcalf, 1889. It's pretty. The next new release I want to tell you about is called Little Dove Designs. It is called Heart of Winter. That's pretty too. I like the colors. Another one that I love, Twin Peak Primitives, my girls at Twin Peak Primitives, Spooky Night. And the next one I wanted to show is by Ari TM. It's A-U-R-Y and then TM. It's called Mary Poppins. And I'm going to go ahead and show this, the Plum Streets. They've been out a couple weeks, but just in case you didn't get to see them on social media, I mentioned I do have several viewers who do not have Facebook or Instagram. So these are the new Plum Streets. There is Summertime Blessings, Tomato Dame, Summer Hill, <clears throat> sorry, Summer Hill, Great. I put Tomato Dam in Summer Hill. Uh, I'm just talking to myself now. <laughs> Grace on Me. And the last one we have is Nightshade Bird, which I'm going to be getting since you guys know I love birds. That's it, you guys. That's all I have for this video. Contact me, winners. We have um, MK. And Paula Dawn, contact me via email. And congratulations to both of you. Giveaways this time. Tell me about Jolly July if you're going to do it or not. Or what you'll make it, you know, what type of challenge for yourself will you do. Giveaway number one, giveaway number two. And it's going to go in comments below. Don't say the word comment though. Or don't, um, comment. Don't say the word giveaway so people don't, I guess you can enter the word giveaway in YouTube and it shows people's videos that have free stuff. And so people try and get these and then sell them, I guess. So don't say the word giveaway. You have to be 18. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching my video. I'll be back in two weeks to see you guys again. Good luck with your stitching. Hope you get lots of stitching time. Bye, everybody.